Hello everyone. My name is Courtney Ferguson and this is pretty much my first time on YouTube. Um, but I have obviously been obsessing over makeup stuff, which most people can relate to that. And one of the things that I've been watching a lot of is project panning, um, because one of the things that I have a problem with is buying all this makeup and then not knowing what to do with it. So I've been very much enjoying watching people go through all of their makeup stuff and all of the process and all the progress that they're getting. So I thought I might try something like that. So bear with me because again, I usually don't do this, but I more than anything else, I want a video progression of what everything that I'm doing so I have something that I can hold myself accountable to. So, which I figure probably most people who do this do the same thing. Now, disclaimer, just because this is a makeup video, I love makeup, doesn't mean I'm very good at it, so just throwing that out there. But um, I just kind of want to start going through some of my makeup because a lot of this stuff I've had for a very long time and it's probably not super good for my skin. So I want to try to start getting it out of my collection. So <clears throat> first things first, I guess we will start with just the base. So um, I really want to try to start getting rid of this foundation specifically. Um, I really like how this foundation looks on my skin, um, but I got it in a wrong color. <laughs> I always try to think of myself a lot more tanner than what I am. So what I've been doing is I've been actually mixing it with um, a lighter foundation to try to get through it, but I've had this for almost a year now. And I have actually gone through other foundations over this one, so this one needs to get out. I went ahead and marked it because you can't really see through the thing of where I'm at. So this is where I'm at right now, and it's March 19th, March 20th. So um, what I'll probably do is try to do an update every month, and we'll see. We'll see how long it takes to get through this. Hopefully not too long. Um, next one I'm going to do is this concealer, which I've actually not been doing too bad on it. I've already taken the stopper out, which I marked it right there, but you, it's actually probably a little bit farther down. Um, the stopper actually, while I was trying to take it out, fell in. So that's probably displacing some of the product as well. So, but I don't, I should hopefully be done with this by next month. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> now powders for setting. So I have the Shade and Light palette. So right now, obviously, you can see the lightest one. I've pretty much used up a lot of it. Um, but what I'm starting to do now is I'm using the banana color up underneath my eyes. But I'm still using the rest of my lighter powder for my other light um, highlighted spots. So like my chin my nose and my forehead, I'll use my lighter powder. And then what I've started doing is the concealer I put on my eyes, I actually set with this color. But I'd really like to get rid of this by the end of the year. And then I would like to get some significant pan, if not finish that by the end of the year as well. Um, I, as of right now, I'm not using any of the bronzers or anything like that, because I'm working on a different one. So <clears throat> I've got a deluxe size of the Hourglass, which you can already tell that I have pan on this side. So I would really like to finish this up. And this is actually going a lot quicker than what I think. So I should have this finished by next month. And at that point in time, I'll probably switch in a different powder. So, um, so I've got on my little tiny Z palette, um, I have a blush, so this is Flower Beauty Blush, and truthfully, I cannot tell you what the color is, and truthfully, it's not popping out either, so we'll see how that works. But as you can tell, that part, it kind of crumbled, so that's not really any type of pan, obviously, you can kind of tell. But the um, flower embossing is kind of going away, so I would really like 
for I really like this blush I really like how it looks on me um, but I also like to change it up every once in a while but I would really like to get this down a lot more than what it is I don't think every video that I've watched that has a full um, sized blush takes forever so I don't probably even expect to finish this this year but I'd like to get a lot of um, use out of it and then I have my hula bronzer right here so obviously you can tell that I've got some pan in it obviously I use it as a bronzer I also use it as a transition uh, shade so I can get around the sides a little bit easier. Um, there's a possibility right now it's still okay but I might have to repress this. So there's that. Um, and then I do use some of these other eyeshadow shades kind of for a look because that's a really simple look for me but I'm not putting them in a project right now because I've got another thing that I want to use. <clears throat> so my poor modern renaissance palette i've had this for i want to say like three and a half four years not too long too long is we'll, we'll just say too long okay um so this is what she looks like right now she's been loved very 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 much a lot of people say that the naked palette the very first one was kind of like their introduction into makeup well this one right here this is my baby so this is my first real palette that I bought myself so I'm very very sentimental but she needs to be used so um, obviously you can tell there's some of the stuff that I've actually repressed and I've kind of mixed some of the shades um, to get a little bit of a lighter shade so this one actually is a shade that I mixed I think I mixed golden um ochre and some of temper uh not tempura maybe golden ochre and burnt orange or something like that to make a different shade and i put it in tempura but uh, basically i have it all on the sides um i'm not gonna repress it just because it's already gonna start crumbling a little bit and i don't think it's gonna hold up to repressing so i'm just gonna try to use the rest of that um i would also I think my big thing is I want to try to, I've got pan in four other shades. So I've got raw sienna, burnt orange, um, warm taupe, and antique bronze. Um, I really would like to see pan in all of them by the end of the year. So I'm not even going to sit there and try to tell myself that I'm going to finish certain shades but I want to be able to see pan in all of them. I think the biggest difficulty for me is probably uh, Realgar. Hopefully that's the way you say it but uh, we'll see. Um, and Love Letter. Love Letter is the one that I've least used. I've started using uh, Realgar a little bit more um, but hopefully hopefully I'm going to try to start maybe even doing a little bit cooler looks kind of like this because I did the Bueno Fresco, um, the Warm Taupe, and then the Antique Bronze, and then with Love Letter and the Crease. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that, but I would really like to get um, Pan in all of it um, by the end of the year because this is, out of all the palettes that I recently bought, this is always the one that I go back to. This is my absolute favorite. So, <clears throat> next one, I did forget this one, um, just because I should be finished with it. I was going, when I decided I was going to do this video to begin with, um, I was already basically kind of almost finished with it. So, you can kind of see, um, it's already kind of almost to the plastic part, and I have started scooping it out a little bit. So, um, this one's a deluxe size too, so I'll probably just scoop scoop the rest out of it as well um it's a blurring stick it blurs um i don't really like um <laughs> sorry i've got my son right beside me hi handsome there you go there you go um i don't really like these types of primers but it is what it is right so next i have we'll just finish up with a face real quick so I've got, this is ColourPop Highlighter and Flexitarian. I've had this for two years. 
Um, it is starting to flake a little bit, um, but obviously you can tell I've used this quite a bit. I use it as a highlighter, I use it on my eyes, um, and I just, this is, this is the one that just keeps on going for me. So, it is what it is, right? So, <clears throat> next I've got my brow pencil. So, it's the NYX. It's just the NYX micro brow. So, this is not too bad. I've actually kind of grown to enjoy it. When I first got it, I didn't like the color, which I still think that the color, I can get a better color. But that's about where we're at. And I did mark a lot of these, so um, in my next update, I'll make sure to get that notebook and have it um, on camera so you can actually see um, updates of it. So I've got that. Next, I have my lip pencil. This is the only lip pencil I have. I got this out of a boxy charm, I think. And that's as much as it is. I don't use a lot of lip pencils and I'm not a huge like I keep buying lipsticks but I'm not a huge like lip person. I'm like I've got a ton of chapsticks that I absolutely love using but lipstick I usually put it on once and then once it fades it's fade. So I'm trying to remember to bring it with me and do that stuff. So but I've been using this and I've actually been basically kind of doing this almost even all over the lips and then doing chapstick over it looks really pretty. So, um, I have a mascara, but you're supposed to get rid of them every three months. So I'm not really going to, cause it's hard to measure and stuff like that. So this one I've almost had for three months. It'll be gone by the, by next month. This is also a ongoing product that I've had pretty much for a year and a half. Um, and it's got a little stamp on one side. I don't use the stamp. And then this side, it's kind of thick. I don't really like that, but I mean, it's pigmented and it has literally, again, has been going for about like a year and a half. So, um, I can't even remember what it is. It's a Ciate. There, that's what it is. Well, for some reason, I wanted to keep saying it was Stila. No, it's Ciate limited edition with like, it's starstruck. That's what it is. I think I got it in a box and a boxy charm or whatever. So I've been using it. It's good. It doesn't really do, it's not really good at doing wings. I, part of that could be, you know, operator error. Um, but, you know, it works. It does what it's supposed to do. Not complaining. It's still going. So I don't know. I think it's starting to get a little bit drier. So it should, it will be out by the end of the year for sure. We'll see how long through the out the year actually works. And then I know I got this one out of a boxy charm. It's a vintage. I've got these stickers on it, but they keep falling off. So um, it's called Vintage by Jessica Leibskin. I think. Um, okay, and this is just a smoky eye pencil, jet black. Um, I don't do a lot of smoky eyes. I just don't. So I just use it as a regular kind of like eyeliner and then I sometimes do it in my inner line or like right up underneath because this doesn't really stay on your, you know, your, what is that called? I don't know. Um, but that's about how much I have on it. Um, I'm trying to be better at sharpening it because a lot of people say in Project Pants that when you've got sharpening stuff that it's really easy to go through. I've not really had that but also I don't sharpen a lot of because this is not a really precise pencil anyways so when I'm using it I'm not expecting precision so I don't have to sharpen it every single time so but I might start doing that just to try to get this out um and then I do have let's go ahead and go to lip products just because I need to do lip products <gasps> trying to be in here oh all right come here little man okay so so here's one of the lip products it's one of the Too Faced with the old packaging I'm assuming they had to get rid of it because of all that 
controversy with that packaging. I'm not sure if it's a shade that's still, it's a doll face. Um, it's really, it's kind of messed up because it's such a light shade. I bought it online, so I didn't realize how light of a shade and it kind of makes me look sickly. So I actually um, mix it with my next product if I don't want that product to be as dark. So that's about how much, I don't know, I'm doing the, the makeup thing, but that's about how much I have. So smells really, really good though. So, and then I have this one. It is, I think it's Maybelline. I think most of the lipsticks I have are Maybelline. Sir, he just stole, he just stole a lid. That's okay. So this is how much I have of this. I bought this, which I'm actually wearing it today and it looks really, really good with this eye look. So I um, might, might have found my thing that I'm going to be using for quite a bit. Um, so that's about how much I have. Um, I buy all of these darker lips cause I'm like, Ooh, so sexy. And then I don't ever wear them. So interesting, right? Don't need it. Um, it's 280. It's rum rich. Yeah. And this is Maybelline. So again, I like lip products. I like how they look on my lips. Um, a lot of the lipsticks I have, I like how they look on my lips. Um, but I just don't, I keep buying them and then I don't use them. And just like most people, I feel like obviously like a lot of the stuff that I get are more like new type stuff anyways. So this doesn't seem like it's a big probably leap for a lot of people, but with this being darker, this is actually like huge for me when you sit there and you look at my other my other lip products I mean that's like a tan and then this is a, like a freaking even lighter nude so definitely definitely a little bit more out of my comfort zone but not by much so obviously I know this is gonna be a long video um I'm really not even gonna edit it because again this is my first video and this is a lot of it is I hope other people enjoy it just as much as I've enjoyed my um, project panning videos that I've been watching um, but I as you can tell have a little man and mostly more than anything else this is kind of like a video diary for myself just to kind of keep me honest so um, but I hope you enjoyed watching um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this cute little face. Oh, this cute little face. Um, but I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.